Hand grinders tick a lot of boxes for me personally. They just add so much to the coffee making routine. They are tactile to use, they are often beautifully machined, and they offer great bang for your buck when you compare them to equally priced electric grinders. Today, we're gonna to be taking a look at the Easy Presso K Max, a very popular and competitive option in the mid to high price point hand grinder market. Now, before we get going, I do wanna just quickly mention, this is not a sponsored video in any way. I purchased this grinder with my own money and at full price. If you wanna check it out, I will have it linked down in the description below so that you can check your own local pricing. As I mentioned in the intro, one of my favorite parts about hand grinders is that they are beautiful objects in and of themselves once you sort of cross a certain price point. And the K-Max absolutely falls into that category. It is a beautiful object to use and interact with day to day. The body is all metal with recessed grind setting markings and a slightly more grippy central section to avoid it spinning in your hand. The grinding action itself is smooth and refined, clearly using very tight tolerances and running on good quality bearings. Grind selection is very satisfying, giving a clear and crisp click with each adjustment. The catch cup holds nice and firmly thanks to a ring of strong magnets around the lip. In terms of the design itself, I think this has the potential to be a little bit divisive as it definitely leans more towards the modern side rather than traditional with these large indicators, the gunmetal finish, and this grippy section in the middle. However, it does come together nicely as an overall package and this is definitely in keeping with the Easy Presso design language. Moving on to the user experience, the K-Max comes with a cylindrical protective case for traveling, but I'm not sure why it had to be quite this oversized. It's definitely a pretty chunky thing to try to pack if you're tight on space. Living with the K-Max has been very enjoyable, and I almost entirely attribute my switch back to daily pour overs to this grinder. I am not joking, that is how much I enjoy using it. Not to mention that I can also take it with me anywhere I go and have the same level of coffee quality, which is pretty cool. Grinding on the K-Max is smooth, but not particularly easier or harder than other hand grinders I've owned. Grinding on coarser settings or with darker roasts is an absolute breeze, but as you get to the finer end of the filter range or start using lighter roasts, the effort required can get up there. This did become easier over the first few weeks as the burrs began to season. However, I think it would have been nice to have a slightly longer grinding arm or at least the option to buy one after the fact for those who might want a little bit of extra power. In terms of retention, it is essentially zero and a little bit of RDT is more than enough to keep static completely under control. I never really felt the need to purge out any old beans when I was switching from roast to roast, which is really nice. The grind catch container can hold between 35 to 40 grams, depending on the grind setting, and attaches magnetically. I personally really like the magnetic system because it eliminates the need to thread it on and off every time. The one small downside to this is I did notice that after a week or so of use, the lip can accumulate some chaff, making the magnets less effective. So I had to consciously clean this area out every once in a while. So the user experience is one thing and you guys know that I'm a sucker for a well-built product. However, that's all for nothing if it doesn't deliver on grind quality. Luckily, the K-Max absolutely does. How I ended up with this grinder was on sort of a search for a daily driver for my pour over setup. Originally for pour overs, I was using the Malconic X54 and I still think that is a great grinder for that. However, I wanted a little bit more clarity or insight into my brews. So I went with the absolute clarity monster SSP multi-purpose burrs in a fellow ode. And that is an incredible setup for the money, but it went a bit too far to the extreme for my tastes. With the K-Max, I think I am in my personal sweet spot, no pun intended. The cups the K-Max are able to produce scratch that pour over clarity itch that I had, giving me the impression that I'm getting a true sense of the coffee's character and I'm not missing out because of mixed or muted tasting notes. Is it as revealing as the SSP multi-purpose? 
Absolutely not. But for my taste preferences, that is actually a good thing. I am getting very balanced cups from the K-Max that combine clarity and sweetness to provide a more relaxed but still insightful presentation of the coffee that I'm drinking, which I really, really like. Can this grinder do espresso? Yes, and actually quite well. If you're up for the workout, espresso shots will give you good body along with a well-rounded and sweet flavor profile. Speaking in overall terms of hand grinders and electric grinders, the K-Max is quite possibly one of the cheapest options out there for getting a truly great shot of espresso. So, should you buy the K-Max? If you're in the market for a grinder for pour over like I was, a travel grinder, or even just looking to add a little bit of manual charm to your morning routine without sacrificing drink quality, the K-Max is a great option. It comes in at a medium to high price point, however, the build quality and the grind quality you get more than justifies the price, and it can even be seen as a bit of a bargain when you compare it to some of its counterparts that cost even more. Once again, I will have this grinder linked down in the description below if you want to check it out. If you've enjoyed this video, please leave us a like, and even consider subscribing if you want to see some more like it in the future. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.